I'm here showing off the various color patterns you could set on the Logitech G815. This is the tactile keyboard, very low profile keys. It's a fantastic keyboard. You can control the light on the keyboard by pressing this light button. So you can have your light off, you can have it dim, you can have it bright. The only thing is the alternate key symbols aren't backlit. And I wish they kind of were. That was about the only feature that I wish. But right now I'm using the starlight effect where you can control the back drop color which is a dark blue and I can make that say dark red if I wanted and then you could set the star colors that blank as well I could turn those any color I want RGB wise you could see and you could control how many blank you could see those colors right there so that's the starlight effect here's what the color wave effect looks like which is pretty common in RGB keyboards then of course you have the cycling effect which is where all the keys stay a solid color but they cycle you can also control cycle rate and brightness through G hub you can do the ripple effect, which of course is every time you tap a key, you can see the letters. You can see the light ripples away from the key, which is kind of cool. Nice little effect I got there. Audio visualizer is basically if the sound on the computer, you could actually see the audio um, coming across on the keys. I don't have that set up just right now. Let me see if I could do that real quick here by doing this. See, that's showing you the audio. I'm doing some audio for my headset. You can see that showing up on the keyboard right there. And then we've got Echo Press, which of course you press down once and your key kind of lingers on a different color. So if I want to set Echo Press to say, um, I don't know, let's say I want Echo Press to say like dark, right? Like dark, uh, dark blue right there. And then I want it to turn really, really bright when I press. So let's set the echo color to like a bright, like red, like a really bright red. Like one, two, three. See that? Echo press and then it slowly fades back to the original color. I really like echo press. Echo press looks amazing too. Then of course you got screen sampler, which basically allows you to sample colors on the screen. Select a color on the screen and it'll change the keys to that color on the screen, which is kind of neat. You can kind of do screen sampler there. And then freestyle allows you to basically color brush stroke whatever you want on your keys like i'm going to turn these keys red and i could just color these blue right here and i could turn these red right here basically i should to drag and drop whatever color whatever keys complete uh, customization you know whatever color you want the keys to be you could set specific keys to a specific color like i'll just do w a s d to like green like that again so many options here you can even control the animations you could do lightning animations if you want and you could set the speed up on that. You could see how there's lightning striking um, randomly. You could do ocean wave, where it looks like water's sweeping in, like a wave coming in from the top to bottom. You know, red, white, and blue. Just so many color options you could do with the keyboard. Plus you got the customizable macro keys on G1 through G5. The Logitech G815 is just an excellent, excellent keyboard. I love typing on it. I love the low profile. Highly recommended.